Because of these problems, a mixed Dialga can be a good teammate for Choice Scarf Shaman S. Mixed Dialga can lure in Blissey and do severe damage with Outrage or Brick Break. Latias may think it's safe after Dialga uses Draco Meteor, only to be one hit KO'd by Outrage. Dialga can also roast Scarboy with Fire Blast if it dares to switch in. If running hasty with max speed, Mixed Dialga can destroy Adamant Swords Dance for Quaza and pose as a Choice Scarf user to defeat Wobbuffet. Dialga can also switch into Air Slashes from opposing Choice Scarf Shaman S and scare them off with the prospect of one hit KOing it. Gengar can lure in Scizor only to one hit KO it with Hidden Power Fire as long, it is, as, long as it is not raining. Life Orb Gengar can also one-hit KO Rayquaza with Icy Wind, assuming Stealth Rock is in play, for Shaman S if Rayquaza attempts to set up a Sword Dance. If Dragon Dance Rayquaza is an issue, Gengar can also be equipped with a Choice Scarf to destroy it with Hidden Power Ice, though this Gengar is especially vulnerable to Sizor. The Tickle Wobbuffet plus Pursuit Strategy, usually used with either Tyranitar or Sizor, can remove both Lugia and Blissey from the battlefield for Shaman S. Both Sizor and Tyranitar are also capable of switching into Latias' Dragon Pulse, and can either pursue her as she flees, or one hit KO her with their super effective stab attacks. Groudon can take care of bulk up Dialga in case it attempts to set up on Shaman S, as long as Dialga has not used bulk up too much. Groudon can carry Overheat to lure and one-hit KO Skarmoy as well. Groudon's huge base 150 attack stat will scare away Blissey and will allow Groudon to do a massive amount of damage to Sizor with Earthquake or Fire Punch. A Blissey of your own can defeat any Dialga who lack physical attacks, any Shaman S who lack Leech Seed, Latias who lack Refresh or Safeguard, and Lugia. Mixed Dialga can be very difficult to handle if it switches into any of Shaman S's attacks with the exception of Earth Power. Thus, it's best to revenge kill it with Pokemon that have stab super effective attacks, such as Groudon, Choice Band Garchomp, and Lucario. Darkrai can be used to set up on Lugia and Giratina, and then crush them with nasty plot boosted Dark Pulses. Darkrai can also destroy a weakened Latias, though Darkrai cannot safely switch into Latias' Dragon Pulse. Mewtwo can work well as a teammate, particularly an all-out attacker with Life Orb. Mewtwo can lure Sizor in, only to one-hit KO it with Fire Blast. Mewtwo can also run Self-Destruct to get a surprise KO on Blissey. If using Taunt and Combined, Mewtwo can easily set up on Lugia and Giratina. Finally, Mewtwo can easily revenge kill opposing Shaman S with Ice Beam if they lack the Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf Shaman S can be an acceptable lead as well. Thanks to Choice Scarf, Shaman S is able to outspeed Deoxys S and two-hit KO it with Air Slash. At the worst, Deoxys S will only be able to set up one entry hazard, assuming Air Slash does not miss, and at best Deoxys S will be unable to get any entry hazards up against Shaman S due to a flinch from Air Slash. Another common lead, Groudon, must make a heavy investment in special defense EVs and carry a special defense boosting nature to survive Seed Flare reliably. Something to note about lead Choice Scarf Shaman S is that it often relies on Air Slash's flinch rate to beat other leads. For example, Shaman S must flinch Deoxys A or else Deoxys A will one hit KO Shaman S with Ice Beam. In a more extreme example, Timid Shaman S only has a 28% chance of two hit KOing Darkrai with Air Slash, and thus, much, and thus must often flinch Darkrai twice in order to beat it. It is often best to take the chance with Deoxys A, as its power makes it hard to switch into. Darkrai, on the other hand, can be dealt with by a Sleep Talk Kyogre. When using lead Choice Scarf Shaman S, Hidden Power of Fire is a viable option, as it will not only destroy Sizor leads, but it will also one-hit KO any Fortress or Skarmoy switch-ins as well. The main problem with Hidden Power Fire is that it requires Shaman S to lower its speed IV to 30, meaning that opposing Choice Scarf Shaman S will beat you. There are also several leads that will almost always beat Shaman S. A Choice Scarf Mewtwo will outspeed Shaman S and can one-hit KO it with Ice Beam. 
Although, although Kyogre may be weak to Seed Flare, a 252 HP Kyogre lead will always survive it and then one hit KO Shaman S with Ice Beam. Lead Dialga can take an Earth Power and then one hit KO Shaman S back with Draco Meteor. Sizor leads can also give Shaman S that lack hidden power fire trouble as it is 3 hit KO'd by Bullet Punch. Tyranitar leads can take a Seed Flare thanks to the Sandstorm special defense boost and one hit KO Shaman S with Stone Edge. Blissey can be a good partner for a lead Choice Scarf Shaman S as it can easily wall lead Kyogre, Dialga, and Mewtwo. Groudon can switch into Tyranitar Stone Edge and one hit KO most with Earthquake, while Sizor will take a severe amount of damage, or will be one hit KO'd by a fire type attack. Although Draco Meteor will do a huge amount of damage to Groudon, the thought of Stab Earthquake will often scare Dialga off. While Palkia and Latias can destroy Kyogre, be warned that several lead Kyogre carry Thunder Wave to take advantage of these switch-ins. A Dialga of your own can switch into Mewtwo, Kyogre, and Shizor, and can threaten them with Draco Meteor, Thunder, and Fire Blast respectively. Here ends the first strategy provided in the essay. Wait, seriously? That was only part of the whole thing? You'd better believe it. Some of the stuff you can find on Smogon gets pretty ridiculous. Allow me to walk you through a gentle scroll down of the page on Shaman. All of this? This is what you just heard. And look how much more there is! Okay, Smogon, look, I've got 100 hours on Pokemon Platinum and 500 hours on Pokemon Diamond, but you should get a life, just a little bit. This has been Shag. It's one in the morning. <laughs>